Today, we're gonna check to see if I have a brain. Spoiler alert, probably not. This is the BrainLink Lite. Healthy brainwave for everyone. I'll be very honest, I have no idea what to expect from this. But as you can see from the back, it has a brainwave sensor that interacts with your smart devices. You can do brain yoga, you can quantify your mind, you can meditate. There's some games you can control things in. Now, the one concern I do have about this, not a big deal, but I thought I'd mention it. There's a lot of stuff in here that mentions iPhone, iPad, iOS only, iPod Touch. And I'm primarily an Android person, but I do have an iOS device, so I can always test it with that. But let's just unbox it, and then I'll see what I can do in terms of pairing it up with things. Inside of the box, this would apparently be the sensor, the brainwave sensor. It has a little micro USB port here on the end of it. And it says here, accessory underneath, please lift off form here. So let's go ahead and lift this up. So here's a quick start guide for iOS. Oh, and you flip it over, and there's a quick start guide for Android. There's a little warranty card here with a QR code on the back of it. You can scan for support. There's a little teeny tiny micro USB cable, some silica gel, and the headband. This is the part where it will attach to your head and actually do all of the measuring. You can see their left and right side, and there are the sensors, presumably, that go on the front of your head. And here's where the sensor itself will actually fit with the micro USB connection on it. That does appear to be everything that came in the box. Although looking inside the user guide, the very first thing, the setup, shows this little cord dangling down, and I'm not seeing that cord anywhere. So we may be missing a piece. It looks like there's actually two different ways to wear this, and I have one of the two. Yes, yeah, so you get right to the end of all the stuff with this band that it's showing, you get to the second way. This is an alternative headband, but you got the strap that goes around your head. It says make sure the three sensors are touching your forehead, adjust the tightness, and then slide the module to the USB port and ensure it's clipped on, which realistically might be a little bit better than the other alternative, because this actually has to clip to your ear. And I'm not a big fan of that. But other than that, it looks like we're gonna install an app or two or 12. It says to search for the word NeuroSky in the Google Play Store. So I'll look for that, and then you just pair it over Bluetooth. Let me go ahead and grab my device and we'll get that done. Looking in the Play Store for NeuroSky, it looks like there's a couple of apps here from NeuroSky Dev, but then a bunch of other apps that mention it in some way. So there may be a lot more that you can do with this, but just for the out-of-the-box stuff, you've got the mobile tutorial here, and then the Brainwave Visualizer. But let me just go ahead and start with the mobile tutorial. So we are installed. Let me go ahead and hook this in place. And it sort of clips in there. And it says to push and hold. There should be a light coming on somewhere. You know what? It looks like it might actually need to be charged, so let me go ahead and do that and I'll get right back with you. Quite a little while later, meaning a day or two later, I managed to get this all charged up, and actually when I was unboxing it earlier, I was a little bit wrong. This cable that I called a micro USB charging cable, it's not micro USB. I'm not familiar with that tip, but it's definitely not micro USB. So make sure you don't lose this cable. And I think the next thing to do is actually to power this on, sync it up, and test out some of the apps. There's actually a page over on their website, which I will link to down below, that has a list of third-party applications you can use with this. A couple of the apps from the Play Store that were actually from NeuroSky were MindWave and BrainWave Visualizer, but then there's other things like NeuroFun and this Upcake Light and one called MindSports that are actually supposed to be more fun and game-related things. And to sync up, you just hold the button there. I went ahead and cut out the beeping there. You can see it is flashing now, so in theory I should be able to come in, go to my Bluetooth settings, and there it says BrainLink Light. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that, and it says we are paired up. I'll go ahead and stick it in its little cradle here, and now I guess I just put it on. All right, that's a look. That's a good look for me. So let me start off with this MindWave app. We'll see if anything works. It says MindWave Mobile. Oh, now it says Check Fitting. Well, it keeps going back and forth between Check Fitting and Connected. And we're back. I've kind of got it in a position where it says that it's connected, and it has say, stayed connected for a little while. And this is I hit Play. Now it's showing me attention. Tips for driving, meditation, is a measure of how calm and clear-minded you are. I'm not calm, at least I don't believe that I am. It says take a deep breath. Well, by calming myself down, it looks like I was able to actually attain that meditative state, so that's pretty cool. Blink, it can detect when I intentionally blink. I, I don't know if I'll be able to see this. Well, it looks like it's kind of working. Now you have an idea how the meters work. Time to play. Congratulations. All right, so that's all that app does. Brainwave Visualizer. Okay, Visualizer. It says it's loading, and now... Oh, it just suddenly lit up like Christmas. I don't know if this is actually things that are happening, or... Here, let me set the phone down so I can actually concentrate. I'll zoom in a little better. And as I'm sitting here, I'll... I'll Maybe try to think about different things. There's some attention and meditation things here, although they do kind of look like they're just moving randomly. But let's see if I can get them to go up.
they legitimately just look like they're moving randomly about the screen. They are moving around. I mean, that says something, I suppose. I don't know. Honestly, this, this all looks kind of random to me. Let's try one of the mini games and see if that's going to do anything. So there's a barrel. It says attention. I wonder if that means I need to pay attention to the barrel. I'm paying very close attention to the barrel. Well, it caught on fire. Let's stop paying attention to it. My attention meter went down. Paying attention again, it came back up some. There's the barrel. Focusing on the barrel. The problem is once I start talking again, I stop thinking about the barrel. And so the attention changes back. But yeah, it actually does appear to be doing something. I don't know if I'm just making myself believe that or what. But that's kind of cool. The app design leaves a little to be desired, but still it kind of seems like it's working. Let's move to the NeuroFun app. This one says play for meditation or focus. It says to connect it first. It is connecting down here in the corner. That seemed to be working appropriately with the other, so hopefully it will continue to work, right? It says perfect, let's play. Oh no, what do I have to do this time? Relax. I really don't know what I'm supposed to be doing in terms of relaxation. It's got a countdown timer over here, and then the other side, this bar is kind of spiking erratically. That says time over. 718 meters. I, I don't know what that means. Maybe focus. What does focus do? I'm focusing on making the tractor drag it farther. And as I'm focusing and paying attention, the meter does appear to be moving up. And it goes down when I start talking again. Well, that was pretty interesting. We'll try the mind sports game. Relax and keep breathing. The more relaxed you are, the better the results. Okay. Well, I was able to breathe and drop that meter down pretty low pretty quickly. Actually, let's see if I can if I can do it poorly and not focus. So this time I'm not going to I'm going to really stress hard. I'm totally worried about my family, totally stressing out, and I don't know what to do. And the stress meter was higher. It was not as high as I, I was stressing myself there for a second, but it was pretty high. Let me try it again. I'll try to calm myself down. I was able to bring that down somewhat. I don't know if maybe just making myself stress out made it worse and has kept it that way. There we go. I was able to bring it down. I, whenever I was trying to de-stress before, the problem is you've got a countdown timer and trying to force yourself to de-stress in a 10 second window is insanely difficult, which makes it more stressful. So this thing actually does appear to be doing something. And there's an archery championship. Let's see how this works. Focus constancy. So I got to focus in this one. The last one was trying to de-stress. This one's focus. Slide to the left and long press the screen till the arrow is aimed at the bullseye. That was not great. It's as great. I'm focusing on the bullseye. And that seemed to be worse than before, but it got a better score. I think a problem with that one is they've actually got the numbers coming up over the bullseye, so it's really hard to focus on it. Well, that was definitely an interesting thing to try. So, first thoughts, first impressions of this. This item actually retails for about $150 over on Amazon. And there's a more expensive version that's about $200 that has the little ear clip on it. And I guess my big question is, what are you going to do with it long term? There are actually even more games available for this for iOS, so it might be worth taking a look at some of those. Personally, I think I need to work a little bit more on focus and meditation before trying any of these things. Things. But I think you guys will have to let me know what you think of it down in the comment section below It definitely appeared to actually be functioning based upon my my mental state So it looks like it does do the job it was intended to do at least in terms of measuring your your emotional state your focus your attention your Stress levels and whatnot. So you'll have to let me know what you think of it down below I'll put a link to where you can find it over on Amazon in the description as well as a link to their website Macrotelex.com very interesting product, but that's gonna be about all for me for today Leave a thumbs up down below if you like the video subscribe to receive more and we will see you again next time